Des Renford has attacked Bass Strait record breaker Tammy Van Wisser, saying she cheated by wearing a wetsuit. We've got him on the line now. Des, can you hear me? Yes, I can. What are you wearing? I'm sorry? Have you got headphones on? Yes, I have, actually. You're a puff. <laughs> Listen, in my day, radio presenters didn't need headphones, microphones or satellites. They just stood on the roof of the station and shouted their announcements through a rolled-up newspaper. Right. If we could talk swimming for a moment. Yeah. You say that Tammy Van Wisser wearing a wetsuit to swim Bass Strait is the same as Edmund Hillary going up Mount Everest in a lift. Look, it'd be the same as, say, Wayne Gardner trying to win that Phillip Island Grand Prix on a motorbike. And what's the problem there? In my day, we had to run the motorcycle Grand Prix on foot. <laughs> Any wolf that got trying to sneak a motorbike in was instantly disqualified. And swimming 97 kilometres in a cut-down wetsuit is somehow taking the easy option. Listen here. When I swam the English Channel, I was totally nude, except for three weighted diving belts, a pair of climbing boots, and dragging a two-ton meat safe attached to my testicles by a rope, <laughs> all in accordance with International Federation standards. Uh -huh. And no comfy old chicken fat or lard for dears, oh no, I was coated head to toe in raw mince and offal and in the cage, which incidentally was electrified, uh -huh. there were three hammerhead sharks and a deadly manta ray and no inspiring music playing either, we had Rupert Holmes singing the Pina Colada song live on the boat, non-stop from Calais to Dover and no breaks for a cup of tea or a Lucas aid for me, I'd be allowed to stop every two and a half hours just long enough to receive a punch in the mouth from Aussie Joe Bugner. <laughs> and when I finally made it, there was no Dawny Fraser waiting for me with a blanket and a pat on the back. Oh, no. In accordance with international regulations, I had to put on a seal costume and be clubbed into unconsciousness by six Polish sailors. Now, that, Mick Malloy, was marathon <laughs> swimming. Yes, I'm glad to hear it too. But, but Des, as Tammy says, she wasn't doing it to break a Federation record. Yeah. She was going for the Guinness Book of Records and they do allow wetsuits. Listen, in my day, if you wanted to get into the Guinness Book, you had to make the swim with 200 lit cigarettes crammed in your mouth. Des, this isn't just sour grapes. Uh, in my day, we didn't have sour grapes. We had rotten <laughs> pumpkins hollowed out and filled with live hornets. Uh, OK, well, thanks, Des. And we'll leave you now, uh, listeners, with this. A recording of Sir Edmund Hillary ascending Mount Everest in a lift. And so I commence this perilous ascent on the north face of Everest. <laughs> Almost there, Sherpa Tenzing. Ah! Look! There she is! The summit of Everest! Hillary, you puffed her! In my day, we had to take the stairs!